Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today, I am in the southwest of Las Vegas. We are going to be touring Enterprise. This is what you're going to see in this video, which is me driving through the neighborhood and showing you through my car what all the streets look like. We're going to go to all the new home builders. We're going to show you where these builders are located, what's surrounding these homes and uh, give you a good idea of what kind of amenities you should expect when you wear, when you go to purchase a home, a brand new home here in the Southwest of Las Vegas Valley. Uh, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for all the video tours of, of anything that has to do with Las Vegas in general, here in the Las Vegas market. And um, uh, on this uh, YouTube channel, I usually do, uh, you know, video walkthroughs of uh, new construction homes like model homes to show you what you know what there is available out here but these i found that they're pretty helpful to a lot of people to get a good understanding of the neighborhood so that's why i'm here showing you guys around now uh i'm starting my tour off of um, the exit of sunset this is uh, sunset right here and that's the 215 freeway that we're about to intersect and I'm going to hop onto the 215 freeway. I'm going to exit on the next street, which is Durango, because I am going to tour for you today Enterprise specifically, which is anything below the 215 freeway and anything to the left of the 15 of the 15 freeway. Um, if you guys enjoy these tours, uh, let me know down in the comments. I try to give you guys as much value as possible when I do these tours to get uh, to get people to understand a little bit the value a little bit better. So if you appreciate it, any comments out there do help. If you share this video with other people that might be interested in buying a home down here, that would help too. And then let's get into it now. Over across the street here, across the freeway, we see the Ikea. So if you want to go on a Google Maps, you can kind of follow me along. You have the Ikea, uh, you know, where you have furniture and all that stuff. This is the brand new casino. And uh, this casino has brought in a lot of uh, people to purchase around this part of town because they see it as a big uh, plus to this neighborhood and uh, adding a lot of value between, you know, all the amenities that it comes with it, all the restaurants that uh, that it brings into this uh, into this neighborhood. And uh, also, you know, movie theaters, casinos, all that good stuff. It, it just it's just a well it's a well built casino for sure. I went inside and it's gorgeous in there. But I'm just gonna give you an idea here from uh, from the outside just to show you what it looks like. You have your food court right here, eat your heart, whatever it is. Um, and a beautiful new construction casino. You're talking about, this thing went up in about six months, which is ridiculous how quick they can build this. I'm thinking anywhere else it would take years to build a casino this size, but Las Vegas is always on top of it. They. Di we're different here. We we do things different. We're quick. Uh, we get on it and we get things done. That's how we do it here in Vegas. Now, and so am I. If you guys are looking to buy a home, I'm quick. I get you into the perfect home and I have a process for my clients, you know, that helps them purchase a house uh, the most efficient way possible, but also minimizing the, the risk of ending up with the wrong house. So if you guys are interested in those services, always reach out to me. Right here, we have the Durango exit from the freeway. So that's the freeway I just exited right now. And uh, this would be the Durango exit. It's been getting a little bit, you see, this is all parking from the casino over here. It's been getting really uh, busy on this intersection right here because of the casino, but not much for the casino itself because it really doesn't add much more traffic. It's just that they had a lot of construction lately going on. In fact, right now we don't have much traffic. It's actually pretty nice. And they expanded the streets uh, as you will see once I get onto Durango. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make my way south on Durango. So I started my video right here next to the Southern Hills uh, Hospital, which is a great hospital by the way. And um, I'm going to make a right here on Durango. I'm going to go south. We're going to go by, whatchamacallit. Uh, we're going to go by uh, Rhodes Ranch. 
because there's a beautiful master plan community. You can see here to the left also, there's even more eating options. You have pubs, lots of uh, offices. It's kind of like a small downtown Summerlin area, but for the southwest of the valley. Right now, they're still building it, so these are still empty, although there are a few restaurants in here. They're actually open already. There's a new Italian, uh, what's it called? Sandwich place, and it's freaking amazing. It's called uh, Appia Antiga or something like that. And um, I definitely recommend you guys to go in and have a sandwich from that place because it's like you are in Italy. You're eating sandwich, uh, like a focaccia sandwich is like the best thing ever uh, with mortadella and all that good stuff. Anyway, I'm getting uh, sidetracked here. We're going down on Durango. I'm going to show you right next to here. We have um, actually, I'm going to go to the first builder, which is over in. It's called the uh, Pulte is the community. So we're going to make our way south. So this is what we're looking at right here. We're going to look at enterprise. See enterprise it says here. So anything south of this freeway, anything down here, and anything to the left of the 15 freeway. To see the whole city, this is the strip right here. This is the 15 freeway that cuts the city in half, and that's the 215 freeway. So this triangle corner is what we're visiting today. I'm gonna try to be as detailed as I can about this community and uh, what you should expect, but also show you all the builders, just drive by it and give you a good idea. Now, we're gonna drive by over here, this is a mix of, you have all kinds of housing here in the Southwest. Although predominantly it's more of a, I would say medium density. Like for example, to the right, we have an apartment complex here. This is Ventana. It's, you know, really nice con condos that you can actually purchase on the resale market. Uh, you know, a condo in there is gonna run you like 250 or so for uh, a single bedroom, a one bedroom condo, it's crazy to say you know, 250,000, but that's what the reality is of this market. And um, a two bedroom will run you a little bit more, uh, about, what is it? About 300,000 or so, maybe 275. Anyway, <clears throat> going down here, we also have another master plan community. It's called Rhodes Ranch. I really like Rhodes Ranch as a, as a neighborhood. And I'm not gonna show it to you inside because that requires me to go through the, the gate and everything, but I might do another video of that neighborhood in the future as I have a client that is looking to rent one of their houses in there. So I might just go there one day and go to a full, uh, do a full video tour of Rhodes Ranch itself, which is a beautiful golf course community. And, and you know, HOAs are about 150 or so, or 180, depending on the neighborhood. It's gated, double gated, guard gated. There it is, you see it? Rhodes Ranch. Beautiful neighborhood. If you guys live in here, let me know what you guys think about this neighborhood. And uh, give us, uh, you know, send us your comments down there because that really helps, you know, understand a little bit more and give more feedback from people about, about the neighborhood. So uh, I don't want people to just trust me. That's why I do these also because a lot of people, uh, they're buying a house here in the Southwest. They have no idea what, what Southwest means. And I want to give them an inside view, like uh, an insider's view of the neighborhood and explain what everything is. Uh, Durango is a main street. So we just passed Rhodes Ranch right here. I'm going to make a left here on Windmill just because there are a few builders over here to the left that have, you know, it's worth checking out. But uh, what you're gonna what you're gonna see here in the southwest is one thing for sure, which is uh, not many master plan communities. Like it's not a master plan community southwest. It is unincorporated Nevada. And let me explain what does that, what that, that what that means. It's technically not even part of the city of Las Vegas. It is, uh, and it's not part of the city of Henderson nor of North Las Vegas, right? which are the two main cities in Clark County. Now, what this is, is we call it unincorporated Clark County, which means it's not incorporated. It doesn't have a, 
doesn't have a city name to it. It's just unincorporated, which the reason why that is the case is because the casinos purchased, you know, land where the strip is. They built the casinos. And that's the reason why the strip is where it is nowadays. It's because it's part of this unincorporated uh, Clark County, which I think it has to do something with taxes where they don't have to pay taxes. And that's why they built there. But if you have a you know, uh, an explanation of that, leave it down there in the comments. We'd love to hear your uh, your your take on that. As you can see, we're gonna see a lot of open land as we drive through these neighborhoods. Depends, some places are more built out. Some are gonna have pieces of land like this, where eventually, the you know, they're mostly owned by what's called BLM, which is Bureau of Land Management. And then people come in and you know, builders come in and they buy the, this land and they put on, uh, you know, homes, which is what, what's been happening. You can see here, there's a corner here. This is going to be uh, eventually probably commercial because it's on a, on a main street, which is Buffalo. I've just intersected Buffalo with windmill. I'm going to make a left really quick because there's a builder right here over to the left. They have uh, three stories and two stories by it's built by Pulte and Pulte owns most of the land out here you can see these are three stories built by Pulte this is Skyview Mesa a community that was built out about a year and a half or two years ago and the same one is down there you see those homes they look very similar right now those are you know around 600,000 650 700,000 uh dollars of houses and uh, those are about 2500 square feet with the rooftop deck so it gives you a nice uh, 360 view of of the strip and uh, mountains and all that good stuff but this was the um, so Pulte owns most of the land in this intersection here and they're going to keep building they have this community here it's called Cordora where they have these beautiful homes and it's a Pulte product not American West, not much of a difference between the two, but there are some differences overall. You see a three story, 2,700 square feet house right here. We have another 2,700 square feet. This is also a three story. It's called, um, you see, you have the Palo Verde, the Pinion and the Juniper. These homes are ranging anywhere between, I would say on the low end, you're gonna spend about 500,000. That's if you don't get many options in it. And uh, and you just build it from dirt. Most people are gonna spend at least 550 for the smallest home, which is 2,200 square feet. It'll go up to maybe 700 for the big three stories. But yeah, Buffalo, I uh, used to live actually here right off of Buffalo and Warren Springs. And eventually I ended up selling that house. It was a mistake. This place has been booming, especially now with the new casino where a lot of builders are coming in, but mostly the homes are going up in value a lot. Other builders that are present here in the Southwest of Las Vegas are KB for the most part. KB is probably the second biggest builder after Pulte. We also have Richmond American Homes, although they build a little bit less. They do build a lot out here too. You have Lenar. Dio Horton, occasionally also Toll Brothers uh, with some nice single stories. And we're going to drive by that area where they build big single stories. And, uh, and other, you know, small builders as well. But most, I mean, for the most part, all builders are in here. It's just how much do they build and who are the main builders? It's Pulte and KB that, that really build the most down here. Maybe Richmond is the number three. I'll say in order it's going to go, I would say probably KB builds the most houses, in my opinion, like number of homes. But Pulte has usually bigger lots, bigger houses, and they sell for a higher price as well. So anyway, we're going south right now on Buffalo. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get to, I'm going to show you a community by KB. It's called Ellison, and it's a new community. Uh, there it is. 
because we're about to intersect Blue Diamond. Blue Diamond is that street that kind of cuts the Southwest in half, well, Enterprise in half in a diagonal. I'm gonna show it to you on the map really quick. But you see all these pieces of dirt, land, you know, it's not a pleasant view, personally. I personally don't like it, but I got used to it. I'm okay with it. And then right across the street here, we have a beautiful neighborhood all finished. You see the sidewalk and I mean, walking trails and all that good stuff. But then right across the street, we have more land. This shows you how much land we have available here in Las Vegas to build on and, and how much more room we have for this city to grow as a, as, as a whole. Now over here to the left, we have some, uh, you can see some single stories. These are the Toll Brothers that I talked to you about. We're talking about 1.3, 1.4 million is what these homes sold for. Big 4,000 square feet single story ranch style homes. Amazing. We have these roundabouts here on this uh, Buffalo intersection. You can see still a lot of dirt land where they're going to build on eventually. Southwest has still a lot of potential. There's still a lot of room. And it's probably the closest place to the to the center of the city. It's kind of like in between everything. So I personally really like this location. It's quick access to anything that you need. We have this uh, awkward white house here. I have no idea who owns it and what the purpose of this is. I think they have some kind of farm in the back. I don't know what they do with it, but they built some uh, some, some town, uh, townhomes and single family homes. D.R. Horton built back here. Here is Blue Diamond. Over to the left, we have uh, what's called uh, the City Overlook Circle. You see up there, City Overlook so a Circle. That's it's pretty much a trail that brings you up here on top of the mountain. And I'll tell you, if you have, you know, like a one hour to go on a, on a short hike, this would be a great hike, good exercise. It'll get you on top of that little uh, mountain up there. And you see that? You see that, that up there, we have a nice uh, circle where you can go up there and enjoy the beautiful views of the city. So if you're visiting in town, you're trying to go around and you're like, okay, you know what? Let's stop by that place and check out the views. This will be a great place to go. And um, it's right next to it's the Exploration Park and they call that one Exploration Peak Park, which is where, you know, where that mountain is. I suggest it if you guys are interested. Now I'm going to through Blue Diamond. I'm heading out towards Pahrump, technically, which is more southwest. I'll show you here. You see, I'm going down on Blue Diamond towards uh, the outside of the city. But I'm going to make a ride right now off of Blue Diamond to show you this uh, KB community. Give you an idea of what you can buy at a starting, uh, like a you know, first time home buyer kind of homes, this is what you're looking for, like the lower price range. And um, these homes are starting at around, I would say 450, 430 to 450,000 for the smaller floor plans, about 1500 square feet, two stories. Uh, but they go up to 2,500 square feet of a house, two story. So. Really great option for anybody looking that doesn't need a big backyard, this is it. I mean, if you get one of those small homes, like 1,500 square feet, you'll get actually a backyard. Otherwise, if you get that big one, which is the 2469 floor plan, it's got five bedrooms and a loft with one bedroom downstairs. Uh, you'll only get a side yard because those are deeper homes and they go all the way back. This is a new thing that KB has been putting in to the Southwest. It's a new product that's been selling actually very well and here's why <clears throat> they're able to cut back or at least to make more profits i would i would assume on the land because land is the most expensive thing right now it's just gets so expensive here in this part of town that you know it's um 
it's not profitable for most builders. And something has to give if prices are going to stay high. And uh, people have to choose. Well, do I want to be in the right location? Do I, if I want to be in a location where, you know, I'm going to be happy with and it's going to be close to everything I need to be at? Do I want to be in a certain school district or, you know, whatever is important to you as far as location? And in that case, something has to give. And they found, at least KB found that I think a lot of builders are going to switch to this as well. They found that if they reduce, if they reduce the land that you can build on, you can see here, there's a lot of, um, you know, commercial and all that stuff. But if they reduce the, uh, if they reduce land and they build the same size house, it will still sell for almost the same price. And the cost of the land is a lot less because now they're building on smaller plots of land. Now, one thing I have to tell you though, is that when you walk through these neighborhoods, it feels like an apartment complex because all the homes are so close to each other. And uh, that's that's one of the downsides to that, you know, because they try to squeeze as much, as many homes as possible in one piece of land. And you're gonna have that kind of kind of neighborhood. It's just a reality of the situation right now with unaffordable housing that we have uh, throughout the country, I would say. You know, land is gonna diminish. And I would say, you know, you look at some countries in Europe, some cities and countries where, you know, home prices are ridiculously high compared to the incomes. <clears throat> and what you see is everybody lives in big, tall buildings, like apartment complexes. And that's it. That's what a, that's what the norm is to have a house. It's a condo is, is the norm. And you're lucky if you get like a two, three bedroom condo as, as a property because they're so expensive for the amount of money that people make. I feel like we are kind of uh, leaning towards that direction slowly but surely it's happening so I'm, I'm hoping it doesn't I hope uh, housing does become more affordable but um, I'm not I'm not really you know that um, that hopeful for it the way you know people I mean the, the government has been printing money it's just getting out of hand you can see down here there's uh, river stone and river sand uh, in Perump. Perump is a city that you can go to from here. Obviously, we're not going to tour that today. But we have a lot of builders back down here in the southwest part of the town. For example, we have uh, Century that is coming up with this new product. That's South, South Wind. It's a new community. Uh, there is also, which right now they're not open. It's coming soon. Here is the thing right there. Off of Grand Canyon, which is where we're going. And um, we have other builders right now <clears throat> that are building active, which is Richmond American Homes. We have Stonehaven and Arborbrook, which we're going to right now. And R Richmond owns most of the land down here in, uh, in conjunction with uh, KB, but mostly it's Richmond because KB just finished their community down here in the Southwest, which was called Durham West. And we're about to get to Richmond to show you the two stories that they have here. They're actually really nice designs. The homes are beautiful. There's Durham West, which I'm thinking it's sold out or by the time you see this video, it's probably going to be sold out because I think they had two homes left. Last time I talked to them, it was like a week ago. And right next to KB, you have this one, which is Arbor Brook and Stonehaven. Stonehaven is gonna have big two stories that are 2,700 to 3,200 square feet. And uh, also this other one that just opened about a week ago, which is Arbor Brook. They have these two stories. These are the two model homes that I toured on my channel, which by the way, all the homes that we're driving by, I'm gonna have a video of the video tour of all these homes. So you can just go onto my YouTube channel, look up uh, Arbor Brook by Richmond American Homes, and these model homes are gonna show up for you. 
what's cool out here is that we don't have a gated community on these Richmond homes. They have big wide streets like this side, sorry, uh, big wide streets like these, uh, sidewalks on both sides. And it's, um, <clears throat> it's a really nice, uh, vibe a little bit more on the outskirts you're close to the mountains down here in the southwest and they're building quite a few homes that right now they have spec homes richmond has turned to being just a, a spec builder sometimes there are some things that we can do to negotiate some options that you can change with richmond but it is rare and it is difficult and it's just the way the market is right now. It's been picking up big time. The prices keep going up overall. Year over year, we're up about, uh, what is it? About 5% year over year purchase price. So you can see here, sometimes we'll get some lots like these that eventually are gonna be built out on, but who knows? And then like this lot right there, it's like a, it looks like a container home almost. My gosh, like this is the ugliest house down here. See it? And I'm guessing they don't want to sell because they've been here forever. At some point, one builder will come in and buy them out, I think. Anyway, this, if you keep going up here, you'll go back to where I came from. And uh, eventually somewhere in the south, you'll reach within, you know, I would say six, seven minutes is all it takes to get up there. So you're not far from uh, from anything here in the Southwest. You can hop onto the freeway, you can get to the Durango station within, I would say seven minutes from here is what it will take. You have a lot of commercial, however, here on Blue Diamond. So anything you need, you have it here. Uh, there is uh, restaurants, there's, uh, there are uh, grocery stores, there's Walmart, Smith's, Albertsons, anything you need, you have it. Now, uh, to the right, we also have another community. I'm not going to go there because it's just for one community. It's not worth it. Um, it's uh, called by Lenar. Uh, it's, um, it's called Desert Edge. If you want a next gen, like two homes for one, that's where that one is. Okay. It's just back here. Very similar vibe to what the Richmond home was. Now we're gonna head out more more east in the southwest, right? So we're heading out towards the rainbow part of town. What I wanna do is I wanna show you a little bit this built out area right here. So the center of the heart of the Southwest, I would say, which is this part that is built out. Oh, this picture is kind of old. I think uh, <clears throat> it's been filling in a little, a lot faster, all these homes out here. It's, it's pretty much all built out, but we're going to go and drive through rainbow to show you what's available here on as far as grocery stores and all that stuff, just to give you an idea of the area. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drive down on Decatur. I'm gonna make my way south, and I'm gonna show you this part of town, which is a new part of the Southwest, where they're building a bunch of homes. And we'll, we'll end our uh, video tour here in Southern Highlands. I'll give you a quick peek of Southern Highlands to show you what that neighborhood looks like. So, go in here, go north on Rainbow, make a right on Warm Springs, make a, a go, make a right on Decatur, go down south, and I'll make my way south all the way until, um, we get to the master plan community of Southern Highlands, which is where I live, by the way, right now, currently. Anyway, going out on Blue Diamond. Let me know what you guys think down in, uh, in the comments. Like, do you live here in the Southwest? You know, what, what do you do? Uh, you know, what do you do out here? What's, what's there? What's cool about this, uh, this part of town? And uh, give us some insight, you know, how are school districts or whatever it is that any kind of uh, help that you can you can give to all the people that are trying to move out here will be much appreciated. We just crossed Durango, which is the street that you know we started on, remember, but north. And you can see here next to these big you know main roads like Blue Diamond, you have a lot of commercial you know gas stations and all that stuff. Although there is some um, some residential, as you can see. 
mostly it is commercial on here because it's a it's a main road that brings you know people in from Trump out to Las Vegas. It's almost like uh, a hybrid freeway, if that makes sense. It's like half a freeway kind of thing. Um, I personally am here pretty much every day. I go to a CrossFit gym over here. It's called Straight Flush CrossFit, which is a great um, gym if you're into that. I definitely recommend them. And uh, over here on this side, we have to the right, what we're going to see is Mountain's Edge. Beautiful master plan community. If you're looking into a resale house, this could be a good place for you. And you know what? As a matter of fact, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a ride here and show you next to Exploration Peak Park. I'm going to show you a little bit the vibe in, um, in Mountain's Edge. I want this to be as thorough as possible, this video, to give you a good understanding of this part of town. You can see here, still commercial, lots of stores, mattress store, Chase, you know, Burger King. I'm just going off of what I see. Albertsons is right here. Planet Fitness, if you want, if you want a gym nearby you. Del Taco, Brazilian wax, waxing. What is that Brazilian waxing? Why is it Brazilian? Why is it not just waxing? I don't know. Most of the new builds, however, are not on this part of town. I am not sure why. I think a lot of building is going on on that side of, of Blue Diamond, so south of Blue Diamond, which is where we're going to go you know, towards the end of the video to show you. But yeah, most of it is going to go down there. And you know, all the builders are going down on that side. I'm guessing it's because there's a good value for your money a lot of builders have land over there and or they purchase land for a pretty good price and they can make a profit on it versus on this side it's not as it's not something that's been happening as much all right so as you walk as you drive as you drive down this southwest park you can see it looks a lot different now you know, everything is finished over here in Mountain's Edge for the most part. You can see this beautiful park over here, all the trees, all the green, everything is landscaped. It looks more like Summerlin, if that makes sense to you, like a master plan community, which is what I like about master plan communities. They do give you that nice uh, feeling of, you know, okay, this, this neighborhood is well taken care of. Versus when you go to places where there's no HOA, you have a lot of empty land, people that don't care about their property, and they just, you know, do, they just, you know, live there, but they don't take care of their front yard and all that stuff. Over here, it's a different feeling. You have a lot of gated communities, like this one across. This is a Toll Brothers community. <clears throat> Beautiful homes in here. Toll Brothers built a lot down here as well as uh, what's it called uh, Palti and Tripoint they built a lot in the southwest man just to give you an idea of what uh, uh, Mountain's Edge looks like we also have the Mountain's Edge Regional Park which is over to the right I'm gonna go and drive by really quick to give you, uh, you know, show it a little bit to you and then we'll, we'll make our way back on Rainbow Oh boy, this is going to be a long video. <clears throat> Look at that. I love Mountain Edge. It's beautiful out here. Look at this. Kids on a bike coming back home from school. It's a big church right here. And here is the... Mountain's Edge Regional Park. You can see where I'm at. See how big that thing is? It's a massive park with baseball courts and all that stuff. <clears throat> this is the entrance to that park. You can drive in and show it to you. But this is the kind of community that, that they have, you know, in a master plan community. You can see here, Mountain's Edge Regional Park, lots of 
areas for kids to play. There's barbecue, benches, all that stuff. So if you want to do a gathering, you can do that. You have, you know, covered outdoor, uh, you know, playgrounds. There's a huge green field over there that you can go and just chill on the grass. It's a really nice uh, neighborhood over here. Now, let's head back out. Let's go towards Rainbow. I'm gonna show you the built out area of, the, uh, of that enterprise part of town. Sorry if I make this video too long, but some people are gonna love this kind of video because what happens is a lot of people are trying to move out here and they have no idea what this place looks like. They're like, oh yeah, I'm interested in the Southwest, but they've never seen it in person. So although these are a very late, lengthy video and it might take some of your time to just, you know, browsing and checking out, it's uh, it's actually very helpful to a lot of people. And even your comments out there, I know they, they make a big difference for a lot of people you know, that are looking to buying a home. <clears throat> it's currently 2.20 p.m. So lots of kids coming out of school. I think this school is, um, what's it called? I'll tell you in a second. brand new. I don't know the name of this school. It doesn't tell me here. Let me see if it's up front here. Oh, there it is. Barry and June Gunderson Middle School. So this is a middle school, brand new middle school. Right in the heart of Mountain Sedge. We are almost on Rainbow. Rainbow is the Rainbow Boulevard is the main street that cuts kind of like the southwest from north to south and half. <laughs> but yeah, you can see here how it's well taken care of. All the trees are beautiful. Actually, there's a lot of trees here. There are a lot of trees on the side. They're still all dead. In the spring, this thing boom blooms like beautiful you see all the, the cherry blossoms start you know coming out start flourishing and you get all the colors in the neighborhood it looks gorgeous here's rainbow let's make a left over here So pricing so far from what have you, from what we've seen is as low as around 450 for a single family home and uh, as high as uh, 700 is what most of the builders are building out here. On the resale market, you might find a better deal, something cheaper, but it really depends. It's a case by case scenario. One thing you'll notice in the Southwest, especially once we cross Blue Diamond going south on, on Blue Diamond, is uh, you have a lot of power lines down here. For some reason, they don't go underground over here. And they go above ground. I'm guessing it's the cost. I'm guessing it's a cost related issue. If you think about it, it's all about money, right? So digging here underneath, it costs a lot of money. So maybe they have to go above. Also because down here we have a lot of, uh, it's called uh, caliche, which is a type of rock that is really hard and difficult to break into. So doing that, uh, you know, it's not cost efficient. So sometimes they put in these uh, high tension wires. Over here on this intersection between Blue Diamond and Rainbow, you have a lot of shopping going in. This There was nothing here literally like a year ago. All of this part is coming in. 
you see on the right side also there is um, there's a lot of land where they're developing a lot of commercial going in this is walmart on this side so this part is going to be it's going to get you know pretty busy it's going to be like a focal point in the southwest kind of like a continuation of what's north of blue diamond on rainbow What stores do we have here? Look at that. Roberto's, Dental, Practice, Douglas Crook, Boba Foxy, Cigar, Cigar Lounge. You know, just businesses that you'll find in a plaza. Hey, McDonald's, inside of Terribles. That's not good. That's never good, guys. Never good. Oh, right. We just crossed Blue Diamond. We're headed north right now. Now there's a community over here to the left where they're still building. Built by KB. You can see down there, the homes that they're still building. KB is a decent builder, pretty good. They build very practical floor plans that, you know, they're pretty cost efficient. These ones still have the backyards, not the side, side yard options. And they're going for about the same price as the other one. So as low as 450, as high as 600, maybe with all the upgrades included, 2,500 square feet. Over to the right, there's another builder. And this is, this is a big one, which is Pulte. And they have all kinds of floor plans. It's worth for me going in there and showing it to you in person because there are a lot of options here. You have on the right side, going from smallest all the way down to the right to biggest all the way down to the left. We're gonna see some options here. <coughs> this is the Pandona collection. And you're not necessarily gonna buy a lot necessarily here it's just that this is where their center is with all their um their floor plans where you can see the model homes but then what you do is you purchase the house in a different community these are the same floor plans that we saw when we first started at cordora by pulte they have the same ones over here they just call it Paldona. this community the second one uh second collection that they have is the luxury uh sorry the uh, the Rainbow Crossing Luxury, which is 3,000 square feet, two-story homes with up to three-car garages. <clears throat> and then, so the first ones are going to be around 500 to, uh, in the 500s. The second ones are going to be in the 600s to 700s. And then these are the third ones. They're probably going to be in the high 700s, 800,000 dollar homes. We're talking about 4,000 square feet, nice modern looking homes going up all the way to about 5,000 square feet of a three-story, which is probably this house. It's the biggest one they have in town, pretty much, because it gives you a full uh, rooftop deck. It gives you a rooftop deck. It gives you three stories. It gives you that you know separation between floors that many people like. It's been a very successful product here, the, the, all these houses here by Pulte. But you know, those big ones, the 5,000 square feet ones, they go up to a million dollars, 1.1 million. So keep that in mind. There's another KB community that was closed out about a year ago. It's called Sage Glen, another great neighborhood. That's pretty much pretty much it for the builders out here on the north side of blue diamond although as you see you didn't see many you know mainly it's this pulte builder that has a lot of land they've been building these three collections throughout the the north side of uh, blue diamond in fact they're here to the left you see those homes those are all pulte that's where they're building some of them some of them are behind those model homes that we just toured I'm gonna need some water here. Gosh. 
okay, I'm crossing right now. I'm on Rainbow going north. I'm about to cross Windmill, if you're following me on the map. And uh, you can see how much commercial retail uh, real estate we have on this side. Uh, we call down here, This is, I call it the second Chinatown because there are a lot of Asian restaurants out here talking about anything from Vietnamese to Chinese to uh, Korean uh, and you can see here Korean eatery. There was, uh, I mean, there are a lot of them. You see sushi right there, oishi. <clears throat> and this is a big road too. We're looking at three lanes on each side. You have on the right Coronado Ranch. Coronado Ranch is uh, one of the biggest neighborhoods down here it's not a master plan community but it is i think it is actually a, a master plan community i've lived there too before but see coronado bay club all of this part is called it's called Cor coronado ranch and it's uh it was built by american west you know which is now owned by pulte yeah we're gonna keep going north. We're gonna make a ride on Warren Springs here. We could go on the freeway, but there's no need. We're gonna stay down here and then go south of Decatur to give you a good idea. See also this uh, this diagonal thing right here. That's actually a train rail. You have a lot of commercial area next to it. It's not like you're gonna get trains here all the time. This is just, um, you know, like a commercial thing, so. They, they bring a lot of material through here. You have commercial areas right here. You have this uh, cave. Okay, what's it called? Like a, you know, where they buy and sell dirt and materials and rocks. That's where, that's what this is. And then, uh, yeah, so you do have a lot of uh, retail as well on this part of town. Now it's been 47 minutes. Gosh, that's a long time. If you guys are still down there, let me know down in the comments. Yeah, hey Jack, I watched until the end. You know, because uh, we're about to come to an end to this in about probably 15 minutes or so. See the freeway is just down the street here. All of this commercial area keeps going. You have a lot of more commercial spaces. You can see all kinds of banks are here. Uh, there is a Home Depot down there. There's a Super Center, there's a, a Sam's Club. They're also building, by the way, a new Costco down in the Southwest. And it's right across from the Durango station. So off of Buffalo and 215 Freeway, there's gonna be a Costco right there. And that's, a, that's an amazing. Uh, that's an amazing location because it was much needed in the southwest. On top of that, you can see here, there's another park. There's parks pretty much everywhere throughout the southwest. So if you keep looking, you'll see little parks everywhere for families. And yeah, we're almost over on the Decatur. We're going to cross Jones first and then we'll go to Decatur. Decatur actually extends past Blue Diamond, so I can keep going down south towards the newer part of the Southwest where you have a lot of builders that are building a lot of homes. So for the most part, you can see the medium, medium density. By medium density is what I mean is most of the homes are going to be two stories, two to three stories. You're not going to, high density is probably, you know, condos is what you're going to get in the, if it's a high density area. But we don't have many condo complexes here. Um, 
low density is going to be big 3,000 square feet or higher or bigger homes with big pieces of land. And we're, we don't have that as much over here. We have mostly, you know, two-story homes with medium density. You can see all in this area right here. Where you have more of a low density area is going to be in this part of town. So all of these, these are all custom uh, built homes, you know, on a quarter of an acre, third of an acre, half an acre, an acre lots where, you know, you have a lot more land available, which are more expensive too. That extends also to where we're going right now, where we're going to drive by right now, which is this part of town. All of this, although it's becoming more of a mix between medium density and low density, that's what we have. That's what we should expect here, more of a low density area. And I'll show you one, one, once we get there. All right. I'm excited about this new part of town where we're going right now, this new part of the Southwest. The reason why is because um, they're building that high-speed train rail. I know it's been going up for a long time and it's always, you know, in the works and everything, but they say that it's going to go up within the next five years. That's the goal. Now, I personally believe when that does go up, Las Vegas is going to become more of, a, of an extension of California with a lot of people that you know, maybe work out there and purchase a home out here in Las Vegas and commute every day to go to work. That may very well be, you know, the, the future for a lot of this part of town where you're going to get a lot of housing going in and a lot of Californians purchasing a home maybe next to the speed uh, rails. That is going to bring you, I think, to California within uh, an hour and a half or two hours or so, which is really nice. You can see here to the left, you have a lot of custom built homes, a big, you know, like RV garages and all that good stuff. These are like quarter acre, half an acre lots, beautiful 80s rancho style homes. I love these, this part of town. I love these homes specifically. I'm not super fond of the way they look from the outside because they're a little bit all over the place and sometimes they don't take care of the front and everything because they don't have HOAs. But I do like the homes themselves. So I, one day I might purchase one of those. Although they are expensive. I mean, this house right here will probably go for like a million right here next to us. Four car garage, big one acre lot. That's gonna go at least for a million, maybe even more than that. Lots of, as you see here, also a mix between small single family homes or smaller. We're still going south on Decatur, as you can see from my map. Now there's a community right here I'm gonna show you really quick. Richmond American Homes are building right here. Beautiful single, all single story community. Uh, sorry, not Richmond, it's uh, Taylor Morrison. Got them confused. But um, great builder. Actually, the, all, the house that I own was built by Taylor Morrison. I love that builder. There's another Albertsons here, so this is for your groceries, you know. That's Blue Diamond, the next light. We'll get there in a second. <clears throat> Gotta show you these single stories. This is a good deal. They'll probably be sold out soon, within the next month or two. It had about 29 lots, I believe it was. Single story homes. About the starting price of about 550 ish for the smallest single story, which is about 2,000 square feet. Going up to 
2,700 square feet with the next gen. Really, really nice homes. Here they are. That's the model home over there. That's the rose floor plan, beautiful floor plan. And these are going for 550s up to, I would say 750,000 on the high end. It's not a bad deal if you consider, you know, what you're getting, the square footage, the fact that it's a single story. And in this part of town, you know, very central to everything, that's, it's pretty difficult to find. As you saw from, from this video, a lot of these builders, they build two story homes, small backyards. That's the, that's the product that sells the most here, you know, kind of like a 2000 square feet on average um, of a house, three bedrooms and a loft. It'll go for about four, like 500 or so out the door price. This is a big shopping center here. You have Albertsons, Targets, there's In and Out. If you haven't, if you've never tried In and Out before, because maybe you don't live here or on the West Coast, you have to try it out. Okay, here's a hospital right now. It's called the St. Rose Dominican Blue Diamond Camp Campus. That's the Dignity Health Hospital. Like a smaller hospital, they have an emergency center. Then this is uh, Blue Diamond that, that we're intersecting right now. We're gonna keep going south. And we're gonna go to some builders over here. You have a few builders on this side. We're gonna go there first, where you have KB and American West. Then we're gonna head out down here. We have TriPoint. And then we have down here some other builders like Pulte, KB, Dior Horton. We'll see all of those. And then we'll make our way down to Southern Highlands. This is gonna be the most comprehensive tour of the southwest of the valley. That's because I want to make sure you guys see everything out here. Now, while we wait for the light to go, um, if you guys appreciate these videos and you need a realtor that offers value to their clients, like the value that I'm offering you right now watching this video, and you appreciate my videos, you're like, hey, Jack, you really helped me out a lot. Um, I need a house. I need someone to help me out. I really want to, you know, give back for what I've done personally, you know, like what what you have done or, you know, myself, um, you know, feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to be that realtor, uh, to guide you through the process. I do have a nice system that, that really maximizes your time and your efforts to look at a home. I, I help my clients first of all on, uh, on zoom with a zoom call and I show them everything online before anything. We go over everything you need to know about the neighborhoods, We're talking about crime rates, school districts, um, you know, anything you need to know about, about any neighborhood out there, I have the answers and I can tell you, Hey, go on to this website, check out this, go onto this website, check out this other one. Uh, you want to look for a school, look at this website over here and, and you can get more information. That's the kind of realtor that you need to help you gather as much information as possible on the neighborhood, but then also tell you all the options you have available off the top of their head, which which is what I'm doing right now. It's not like I have a script or something. And I'm going through these neighborhoods and I remember the name of the community, all that stuff. It's because I've sold probably every home that you've seen here in all these new construction homes. I sell a lot of new construction. I am a, I'm a new build expert as well as resale because I probably sell more resale than any other realtor out there. So if you want that experience, that hands-on, um, you know, uh, efficient realtor to help you out, I can definitely be that person for you. But let's begin, let's get back to the video because we got to get back to this, uh, to this tour. 
right here to the right, we have uh, Belcara, which is a KB community. Same product as what we've been seeing, anywhere between 1,500 square feet. You can see here the gated community. <laughs> this is the back of the neighborhood. They still have some lots right here that don't have any neighbors behind. You can get some nice strip views possibly from the second floor, like these ones. And uh, <clears throat> and yeah, so this is the entrance right here. So anywhere between 1,500 square feet to 2,500 square feet, two-story homes is what you're gonna get here. There's a single-story option. If you want a small single-story, 1,200 square feet, there's also that option. It's gonna be the least expensive home you can buy out here. On the right, we have Linmar Ranch, which is an American West build. Now, I like these homes. They're nice. I would say this is comparable to the KB product is what they're offering here. Eight foot ceilings, you know, six foot eight doors, nothing crazy special about it, but very efficient floor plans that do very well. They sell very well because, you know, if anybody is looking for a starter home, that's what they want. They also have a single story option, but those are pretty much sold out. They're all the ones at the end of the community that are adjacent to the to the homes that used to live, that used to be there already before they started building this, this neighborhood. And uh, I mean, those that those that model right there, 2,500 square feet, single story. I wish they still had them and selling them because it's a very successful one. I have one on the contract with a client right now. Really great layout. This uh, part of town right here has been built mostly by American West. They own most of the land. If KB is building here, it's because American West developed the land and they sold it to them. So that's probably what happened. They own most of the Southwest. That's why they are so prevalent down here. The company before they sold to Pulte, they they went ahead and uh, they bought back in the 2000s so much land and started developing on it. And they still own a lot of this land that is appreciating with time. Gonna eventually, they're gonna develop on it. This is uh, Silverado Ranch. Just down here, we have a Tripoint community. Tripoint is a builder we haven't seen yet. They have some townhomes left. It's the only product that really they can build where, you know, it makes sense to make money out of these because those townhomes, they, they have some good margins on it. And uh, being good, some, I mean, they, they'll sell the same square footage townhome. I can get you a single family home down here with the same square footage. So the fact that they're able to sell those homes for the same price as single family homes really tells you a lot about the builder and the quality of construction, all that stuff, because they're able to sell for a premium for sure. Oh, there's another builder right here. It's, uh, starting from the 700s, Signature. Really good builder. Uh, they used to have a few communities uh, down in the Southwest towards Brown. And they're building now, they're kind of ramping up a little bit more, which I'm excited about. All right, Jameson Park is gonna come soon. So right here we have uh, Pulte. There's the Hayford community. So remember the homes that we saw over at Rainbow Crossing, uh, which is um, that Pulte community where they had a bunch of model homes next to each other. So these are pretty much the same models. Down there we have Hayford all the way down there. And then right here we have Delamar and Queens Canyon, which have pretty much the same products. Anywhere as low as 2,000 square feet of a house, and as big as 4,000 square feet, even 5,000, depending on the model. So prices on this side tend to be a little bit lower than uh, than the other side where Rainbow Crossing is. I would say about 5% less. And probably it is because it's all undeveloped out here for the most part. You can see a lot of land, just like it is over in the Southwest as well. But it tends to be a little bit cheaper over on this side. I think temporarily, I think that <clears throat> that difference eventually is going to be wiped off, especially when we have that high speed rail tra train rails are going to come up on this part of town. This is Spectrum Bay, which is a single uh, single family home 
rest, uh, you know, neighborhood. Very small backyards over here, but they're selling like cupcakes. I mean, we're looking at low 400s for these prices, maybe mid 400s, like 450, 1,700, 1,800 square feet homes. Really nice. If you don't need a big backyard, that's probably one of the best deals in town. But you got to wait six months to get a home at least. Same thing with these guys, Spectrum Falls. Anywhere between 2,400 square feet to 3,000 square feet, two-story homes. But these, the 3,000 square feet will go in the 550s. If you're looking to get a house within six months, and who knows what the price is going to be in six months. So we really can't tell. Um, over here, another KB community. It's called Saguaro Ranch, one of my favorite ones. Just the location and everything, the way to build this one out. It's been very successful uh, when it comes to selling this neighborhood. Again, same community, same builder, uh, same floor plans. They were copy and paste them everywhere. These homes because they're so successful at selling them. <clears throat> yeah, so that pretty much shows you how many builders are out here on this part of town and how quick they're building. I don't think I have anything else other than Richmond right here, Monarch Valley. You can see over there, that's the South Point Casino. And, um, That's where the freeway is, the 15 freeway. You can kind of see the cars right now going by. That's the freeway. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through Sutter Highlands a little bit. I'll show you what it looks like. Monarch Meadow over here, they have two stories and single story options, Monarch Meadow and Monarch Valley. Monarch Valley is the two story. These are the single stories. Anywhere between 1,700 square feet to 2,100 square feet for both of these four, uh, these neighborhoods. And you're probably looking at around, I would say 550s, like 500s for the two stories approximately. And then uh, for, the, for the single stories, it's gonna be anywhere between 550 up to 700,000. Again, depending on the upgrades that you choose in the house and all that stuff. We're just intersecting Cactus right now. Cactus separates this part of town with Southern Highlands. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go down this street, show you a little bit this uh, this area, what it looks like. Then we'll make our way north and give you a good idea of this. And then we'll, we'll, we'll turn off the video here. What's uh, something you need to check out is if you plan on buying one of these new construction homes over here, you have easy access to this shopping center. So we'll probably end our video right there because I got to go buy some groceries anyway. So I'll stop there in the video. And then, yeah, just give you a good idea of this neighborhood, what it looks like, what to expect. It is a master plan community. You're going to get a lot of amenities in here, parks, trails, walking paths, all that good stuff, uh, biking trails. You have it all. It looks gorgeous. I think it looks better than even Summerland, uh, which is one of the most sought after neighborhoods. And price ranges are not too bad. They're very similar to the Southwest, as a matter of fact. So if you want a, um, a master plan community and you want to be closer to the city, you know, this is right off the freeway. As you can see, this is the 15 freeway and you have easy access on the freeway. If you are from California and you want a place nearby, you know, that this is right off the freeway, just hop on it and you're down in California in no time. <clears throat> but yeah, anything to the left is not Southern Highlands right here. Oh shoot. Anything to the right is Southern Highlands. You have a farmer's market here. Um, it's every second and fourth Saturday of the month. Big white streets, lots of trees. <clears throat> right now it doesn't look as nice. Once the spring hits and it starts blooming, all the leaves start blooming, blooming this place gets colored up. Like the amount of colors that we have on these trees is amazing.
These are beautiful, expensive homes, actually. These are going to go into 800, 900 million dollar homes, 3,000 square feet, 4,000 square feet, two story homes. As a matter of fact, uh, Sunner Highlands has been uh, designed by the same people that did uh, that designed uh, Sky Canyon and uh, and Sunstone. There's a beautiful water, uh, like a man-made artificial lake, right here, right across from those offices behind these offices and behind this is uh what we have we have this beautiful you know like three four five million dollar homes there's a luxury neighborhood and you can see here this neighborhood this is like the main road of center highlands you know you got wide streets you know, walking trails on both sides look at the trees it's a nice beautiful you know feeling of the neighborhood you see the cherry blossoms starting to come out, although they're not full on grown yet. And, uh, you know, beautiful homes. I mean, I would say this is more of a neighborhood. I mean, if you look, you have all kinds of homes here, anywhere between small two story houses around 400,000, going up to five, six million golf course homes, you know, golf, golf course uh, backing homes. So, uh, you know, you have all kinds of options out here. There's luxury, there's, you know, starter homes. It's just all mixed up. You see up there, you have all those beautiful view lots. Those are going to be the expensive homes that I was mentioned to you. There's parks everywhere over to the right. There's one park here. There's a walking trail that connects most of the parks in this neighborhood. You can see all these... Uh, walking trail on the outside and then we're almost towards the end of Southern Highlands which is that plaza which is also part of Southern Highlands and uh, I'm not going to give you like a full in-depth review of this neighborhood because obviously you know like I'm not here just for Southern Highlands I'm here for all of the enterprise area and this is part of it so I just want to give you a good idea what it looks like but then obviously, if you guys are interested in anything specific, feel free to reach out to me. And I would love to help you out. This is the big plaza that they have. Nevada State Bank. Smith's is the marketplace where you can go here and do all your grocery shopping. There's an Ace Hardware if you need one. Lots of restaurants over here. Mama Bird is really good. good really good uh it's called breakfast restaurant any kind of services you need you all you have them all here there's a lot of restaurants on this side there's korean barbecue I go there all the time uh, there's a steakhouse on that side it's really good as well so let me know what you guys think i hope this video wasn't uh too wasn't too long for you and uh i hope you got some value out of it if you did hit the like button and let me know down there jack I was crazy enough to stay until the end. Just write me a comment. Let me know that that you stayed up to the end. Uh, I don't know who would listen to a guy for talking to a camera for an hour and 15 minutes. I mean, kudos to you. That means you must be really motivated by home. So reach out to me. All my information is going to be down below. Uh, check out all those communities that I mentioned. Check out the full video tours that I have all on my channel of all these homes that I drive that I walked through myself. And I guess I'll see you guys on the next tour. Thanks for watching.